Hey guys, I'm Ken Arnold and week one is in the books. That's right, we went out and we beat the Washington Redskins. Again, I'm Ken Arnold, huge Eagles fan. Grew up in South Jersey. That's right, I grew up about 20 minutes outside of Philadelphia. Been an Eagles fan since birth. I even have on my back wall back here, I've got the NFC Championship banner from uh, 1980 when we went to the Super Bowl in 81 on January 25th and we lost to the Raiders. Yeah, I'm still upset about that. Uh, but week one, it's in the books, guys. And that is a pretty great thing that we're 1-0 and after the first week of the season. We beat a division rival, the Washington Redskins. And, you know, I'm still not sure whether or not it was we played so great or they just played so bad or was it a combination of, of both because it wasn't pretty. We made some mistakes, uh, a little sloppy, uh, a lot of penalties, but uh, we came out with the W on the road down in D.C. where we've had some problem winning recently. So it was kind of nice to get down there and get that win and get back up 95 back into Philadelphia. Uh, I'm going to go right into some of the things that I thought were good and some of the things that I thought were bad yesterday and uh, some of the things that really stood out to me. So on the offensive side of the ball, first off, Carson Wentz. He stood out to me. Anytime you pass for over 300 yards, it's a good day as a quarterback and you get a win. So uh, he had the ability to scramble, to elude sacks, to get away from pressure and to keep plays alive and in the first half, in that first quarter, he, he had that nice 50 yard, 58 yard pass to Nelson Aguilar. So uh, that was big for the Eagles, uh, his ability to get away. Because the offensive line was it was a little bit shaky, especially in the second half when Peters couldn't play because of his groin. Zach Ertz had a solid day for the Eagles. He had eight catches for 93 yards. And of course, Nelson Aguilar came out and he had a solid first game, scored that 58-yard touchdown. He put a lot of work in the offseason. It looks like his confidence level is high and he's out and he's ready to prove something this season. And he's going to get a lot of opportunities because of one big reason. Alshon Jeffrey and Torrey Smith are going to draw a lot of attention from the other team's defense. So he's going to get a lot of chances to make a lot of big plays, and I think his confidence level is at a place where he's going to be able to do that. And he started out great. Great first game for Nelson Aguilar. Good for him. Uh, the bad, like I said, the offensive line, eh, it was a little shaky. I mean, there was pressure on Carson all day long, and he was you know, moving around. <laughs> he was trying to escape for his life sometimes, but he managed the game very well. I mean, he had that one tip ball, uh, Carson Wentz, and it was it returned for a touchdown on an interception. Kerrigan got it. But other than that, I thought that Carson Wentz played a good, solid game. He made good, solid throws. He was able to put the ball where he wanted it, when he wanted to. Uh, he could get rid of the ball a little bit quicker in certain situations. That would be good. But overall, like I said, these are all good things. We, we were making big plays downfield. Carson Wentz was able to elude the, uh, the uh, pressure, and we moved the ball. So let's get into the bad, right? The offensive line, like we said, a little bit shaky, right? A lot of pressure on Carson Wentz. He had to move around a lot. Also, there was no real run game yesterday. I think um, LeGarrette ran the ball 11 times for 37 yards. That's not a lot. He, was, he always seemed to be one step from breaking it. But then that guy would get him, boom, and he would only get two or three yards. So uh, they need to work on that. They need to hit that hole a little bit harder. Yes, he's a big back. He's not, you know, quick like Smallwood. But maybe if they mix him in and get Smallwood a couple more carries earlier, maybe that would help and Smallwood could hit those holes that LeGarrette can't get to. Because there seemed to be a hole there. It just, he was one step behind that he just couldn't hit it and couldn't get into that gap. But overall... You know, in the beginning of the game, we had a good balanced offensive attack. Later in the game, obviously, we went pass heavy. That's Doug Peterson's thing to do. He always goes pass heavy in the second half. Jason Peters got hurt, had a groin injury. Vitae came in, did a decent job, you know, and it's good for him to get in there and get that experience because Jason Peters is getting older, and he breaks down and seems to be having more injury problems the older he gets. Uh, Alshon Jeffrey and Torrey Smith. They didn't have a great day, you know, not not anything to write home about. But what, like I said earlier, what they did was they drew attention from the other receivers, which allowed Zach Ertz to have a big day, which allowed Aguilar to make some plays. So there was that factor in the game. So they will get their catches. They will open up the offense for the Eagles. Just yesterday, they missed a couple big plays. And if they can, if they can catch those balls in the future, the Eagles offense is going to be fine.
And the one thing that really it, it irks me is is uh, Doug Peterson's play calling sometimes. Like late in the game, he got pass heavy again. I don't know why he does that. That one play with Aguilar where we lateraled the ball and they recovered that fumble. I'm not, I wasn't a big fan of that play. So there was some questionable calls. But overall, Doug did a decent job. We won the game. Anytime you win the game, you know, if we didn't win the game, yes, probably the people would be calling for Doug's head. But we won the game. He needs to tighten up his play calling a little bit. He needs to understand that we don't need to keep passing in certain situations. We can run the ball. We can eat up the clock. We can establish that run game. I think if we establish a run game, the Eagles offense is going to be tough to beat. That offensive line shores up. We get some protection for Carson Wentz. There's no limit to what we can do offensively, in my opinion. On the defensive side of the ball, the defensive line set the tone. They put pressure on Cousins all day long. The Skins could not run the ball at all. I think they had a total of 64 yards running with Kirk Cousins being the leading rusher with 30 yards. You know, when your quarterback has as much as your featured back, that's not a good day. So the Eagles were in their backfield. They set the tone, and that was what was great about the defense. Um, Michael Kendricks, that hit he put on Robert Kelly, where he met him head on and drove him back about three yards, that set the tone and let the Redskins know, hey, you ain't running the ball today. Sorry, but you're not doing it. So that was pretty awesome. Uh, The defensive backs could have played a little bit better on that one uh, touchdown to Thompson where he uh, got out into the middle of the field and the Eagles missed like three or four tackles. And there seemed to be a little bit of standing around. I think the Eagles' defensive backs, they're kind of kicking themselves because they didn't make that tackle. They should have tackled him like three times. They could have had that guy. But they let him go. He got into the end zone. And, hey, it was a great play by Thompson. I mean, he he ran that ball hard after he caught the ball. So you got to give him credit as well. But overall, the Eagles' defense, I'd give them an A. I mean, I thought they were great. I think they did a, they did an excellent job. They set the tone. And if the Eagles' defense can play like that throughout the season, uh, we're, we're going to be good. We're going to have a winning record, and we may even make the playoffs. The one thing I'd like to see more of is uh, I would like to see Schwartz. I'd like to send more pressure. I'd like to see him blitz more often. He likes to sit back. He likes to hold his linebackers back and let them make the play in front of them, which isn't a bad scheme, but... You know, Kirk Cousins yesterday, when you knew you had him on the ropes, man, send more pressure because we had four guys getting to him. And when we sent pressure, we always got to him. And he had the rush, which made him throw that interception to Jalen Mills down on the nine-yard line. And Jalen Mills, you know, the ball came right to him because Kirk Cousins had to hurry up. And anytime you got to make the quarterback hurry up, the quarterback will make mistakes. So I would like to see Schwartz be a little bit more like Jimmy Johnson. But is anybody like Jimmy Johnson? Mm, right? So Schwartz. If you're watching, which I know you're not, but if you ever get a chance to see this, hey, a little bit more pressure, especially when we got them backed up in their own end. Man, let's just send some people, right? And it worked out in one situation when we did send people, we got that fumble and scored that touchdown near the end of the game to seal the game. Uh, Yeah, you're right. I know. Not a fumble, right? Is that You know what? They called it a fumble, right? And if they call it a fumble, what is it? It's a fumble. When I look back 10 years from now at this game at the box score, it says fumble. Guess what? It was a fumble. So, too bad, Redskins fans. It was a fumble. And it's not the reason you lost the game. You lost the game because you didn't play very well. The special teams. Special teams were great. Special teams were great yesterday. Uh, Sturgis, he did miss an extra point. But overall, coverage was good. We made the field goals when we had to make them. And, you know, they've been good for two years now. So the special teams coach is doing his job, and the guys out there, they're playing hard, they're getting downfield, they're making tackles, and if they keep it up, that's another good thats another good way to make the playoffs is when your special teams are as good as the Eagles have been. The injury report for this week, uh, Darby, of course, which you all saw looked horrible. Uh, you thought when it happened it was a season-ending injury, but fortunately, it's just a dislocated ankle, and from the reports that I heard this afternoon, he's going to be out for four to six weeks, which is a big plus. He can come back this season. He can help us in the stretch if we are in a playoff run, and that's exactly what we're going to need. We're going to need somebody like him to be out there in our secondary, and you know, yesterday, the guy who stepped in for him, he did a nice job. Uh, also, Injury-wise, uh, Peters, he injured his groin, but he is probably going to play. He said he could come back in the second half of this game, but they kept him out. He, uh, But they don't want to push him too much. He'll probably be ready for the Kansas City game, which is excellent because if that front 
can get can get it together and put give Carson Wentz more time to for you know protection and to be able to pass the ball. Um, like I said, the Eagles, <laughs> their offense is going to tear it up. The one thing that kind of hurts the Eagles is the kicker Sturgis. He's going to be out for a few weeks. He has a quad injury. Uh, they're going to have to find a kicker to come in and fill that slot. And, you know, it's tough to find a good kicker. It really is. So hopefully we can find somebody who's solid, who can come in, and has a, a good few weeks until Sturgis can come back. The next game, we play Kansas City. In Kansas City. Our former coach, Andy Reid, right? But who knows Andy Reid better than Doug Peterson? He used to be his number one. He used to be his number one. So he knows him, right? They know each other. They know each other's tricks. They know what's going on, right? So it's going to be a good game. It is going to be a challenging game, though, because if you saw the Kansas City game against the Patriots, Kansas City has got an explosive offense. Alex Smith is on a mission, right? He played an excellent game against the Pats, and if he has another game like that against the Eagles, it's going to be a long week next week. But Alex Smith, he's one of the guys you got to watch. The uh, the other guy, Tyreek Hill, and you got that new running back, Kareem Hunt. That guy was tearing it up. He's a lot like Ezekiel Elliott from the Cowboys. So the Kansas City Chiefs, it's going to be a good test for our Eagles. They're going to go into Kansas City on the road. They're going to play a tough team. Hopefully we can play well against this team and come away with another W. And the Kansas City defense, wow. They tore Tom Brady up. So hey guys, I will see you next week after the Eagles game on Sunday. Until then, bleed green, and guess what? E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles! See you guys next week. Peace. E-A-G-L-E-S, Eagles!